The AVP Pro Beach Volleyball stopped in the Valley for the first time since 2009 for the Phoenix Championships at Footprint Center. Cronkite News reporter Adam Schweiger tells us for one competitor, the tournament meant much more than just the $100,000 prize pool. 26-year-old Sarah Sponsel has already achieved a lot in her young career. But the one thing the two-time NCAA national champion and 2020 Olympian had yet to do was play in front of her home crowd professionally. It's crazy to see how far I've come from, I think, my last tournament. Playing here at hometown was when I was like 14 or 15. So just to see where my career's taken me and all the people that have been um, there for me, um, they're all based here in Phoenix. This is where it all began. Growing up in Phoenix, Sponsel attended Veritas Prep Academy, where she won three state indoor volleyball championships and two Arizona Gatorade Player of the Year titles. After winning multiple national championships at UCLA, Sponsel teamed up with USC's Kelly Chang to become the youngest beach volleyball team to ever represent the United States at the Olympics. I think when she was 14, she goes, well, I'm gonna go play, I'm going to the Olympics. She had that mindset back in the day. Even among all her accolades, including defeating her former partner Chang at Hermosa Beach in July for her first ever AVP tournament victory, Seeing Sponsel play in the NBA stadium 15 minutes away from where she grew up is a monumental occasion for Sarah's family. We've been to national championships, uh, we've been to Gulf Shores, um, we weren't able to go to the Olympics, but to be able to um, actually participate and watch her play here, um, there's so many people that have come to watch her play. In Phoenix, Adam Schwager, Cronkite News. Sponsel and her partner Teresa Cannon lost to Kelly Chang and Betsy Flint in the semifinals on Saturday morning. They took home fourth place at the tournament. 